a quick update here on net gas coal silver and crude oil starting with natural gas so what do we have right here so as you can see from our yesterday's video we had a nice pullback to my trend continuation zone followed by a bullish engulfer i'm paying attention to this green candle if this candle closed as a bullish engulfer very important so if it closes as a bullish engulfer in that case we have valid entry targets will be 180 initial targets will be 180 and then take profit wherever you want to take it stop loss will be below somewhere below this wick awesome that is what we call an entry with conditions and confirmation not entering blindly anywhere in the market right here we had an entry this was sent in the priority group as well and as you can see one atr target has been hit and atr was five five points target has been hit now i did not enter this trade i entered this nice bearish trade but i was personally waiting for to enter at the 50 percent of this candle which was right here but now i've cancelled my order i'm not entering this trade because the take profit with the first target has been hit and the pullback happened after the take profit is hit that is why i have cancelled my order now but if you have entered this trade aggressively we had a second winning trade in a row now what to expect from here as you can see price is pushing up now do not get confused with this bullish engulfer i will not take this as a valid buy trade because one of my rule is not valid here that that is why i wait for the price to come back to the zone here i keep my rejection zones like this from the top wick from this body right here now if i have a push up to this zone with a rejection like a bearish engulfer or a 382 candle or a pin bar we have a very good sell signal and we will enter another sell trade stop loss will be above this rejection zone take profit wherever you want to take it or 180 will be your initial target so that is what i'm looking at i just want to give you a heads up that if you're looking at this candle as a bullish engulfer if even if it's closed as a bullish engulfer i will not enter this trade because it invalidates one of my rule which i see for my pullback entries this was a perfect pullback entry if you are an mmt core student this is a pullback entry and it is also an aggressive entry so both are valid and an added confluence so wait for the price to push up with a rejection enter another sell trade if we have no confirmation here no reason to enter here we are not going to enter the trade just by seeing that the price is now in the termination area if we have a break and close above we have a confirmation that price wants to continue to push up in a trend if we have a close above this high so enter with conditions only the one i've just explained also tomorrow if we have a good fall and we have a rejection here with a bullish engulfer it will be a still valid buy trade so these are the conditions you need to look at over the weekend as i don't upload videos on friday that is why i'm giving you all the conditions to look at if you want to enter your trade as efficient as possible right here on capital.com exactly the same mark your rejection zones termination zone like this till this week and once we have a push up here with the rejection we will go short once the price break and close above this high in that case i will not look for my sell condition then we have a possible continuation towards the upside i'll keep you guys updated with the conditions over the weekend as well so for tomorrow make sure you look at these points to enter your trades accordingly right here finally the gold has broken below this consolidation after a long time now at this point you can plot your fibonacci tool like this and if you want to wait for the pullback and if we get a pullback to 50 percent retracement in that case you can enter with a sell limit order target can be 180 top loss can be 180 as well and it can go till 1.618 retracement if you want to manage this trade this is a condition if we get a pullback if you have another red candle you can move your fib tool like this and adjust your 50 percent retracement something like this so have the fib tool ready once once you see a green candle it means the pullback has started then you don't need to move your fib tool anymore after that so wait for that and then enter your trade accordingly if you are a less aggressive trader we can get few green candles pullback of your green candles followed by a duration golfer in that case we are still good to go short doesn't matter if it hit 50 ema or not but i want to see a pull back a few green candles followed by a bearish engulfer we are good to go short have these zones on your charts the zone below to enter buy trade is right here which is 1872.06 goes up to 1895.46 from where we will enter our buy counter trades with engulfers or double bottom entry pen pin bars is also one of my condition to enter my long trades right here on silver what do we have right here so silver has nicely pushed down to the level of major support i've mentioning from last couple of weeks and now in the area of value which is 22.02 that goes up to 22.45 from where i'm expecting a bounce from now at this point all i want to see a next candle 
closed as a bullish engulfer. If that happens, we are good to go long. Targets will be 180R. ADR is 17 at this point. So once you enter your trade at the close of this candle, adjust to two like this. 17 points will be a stop loss and exactly the same as take profit. If you want to manage it, you can manage it till 20 EMA. So have these zones on a chart. Look for bullish engulfers or a possible double bottom pattern within this area of value. So last one we have crude oil. Crude oil is now pushed down. We had a recent report release and that is why we had this nice push down. Anyway, we did not get any sort of reason to enter here. So no conditions, no entry. Price is now broken below. I'm now expecting a good few candles pullback followed by bearish and golfers. So only sell trades at this point. I'm not entering any sort of counter trade from this area anymore, but I'll be looking to enter my sell trades with conditions like bearish in golfer followed by a pullback. So sell trades only. And if the price dramatically pushed down, break and close below this zone, then this is the zone from where I will enter my sell trade, which is 66.20 that goes up to 68.40 this zone will then become a trend continuation zone to take over sell continuation trades that is it for commodities guys any questions any confusions you can always dm in instagram i get back to asap hope you trade green and have an awesome weekend see you guys in the next video take care